for the woods behind my house and my mother, who shows me how to love all living things. What it means to be a forest, written and illustrated by Abigail Harrison. There once was a forest and there once was a child. There's always a lot of activity going on in a forest, and our forest is no exception. The maple seedlings popping their heads out, the old poplar stretching with slow, steady breaths, the birds chattering with the latest gossip, and the squirrels prancing with their games of tag, and the child. The child did not live in the forest, but they lived near it. And so, on days when the sun shone through the trees and they were not required to go to school and sit in a classroom, they would happily wander through the woods. They came, they went, but they never seemed to stay. I first noticed the child when they were very small, bigger than the bugs and squirrels that traversed my branches, but smaller than the deer that quietly picked their way through the woods. Trees do not see like you do, but we are aware of what goes on in our forest. It was the end of summer, a hot and humid day. The mother yelled for the child not to forget bug spray as they bounded into the trees, dancing their own dance alongside the bubbling one of the creek. Eventually, the autumn wind arrived, bringing winter on its heels, and the child departed. Suddenly, just like that, they were back. I could tell time had passed for them. The weight of their footsteps and pace of their movement through the woods had changed, though I swear it had only bit, only a moment had gone by. Humans move through life so quickly. This time, when they reappeared, they were not alone. Two others were with them, chattering about Earth Day. Isn't every Earth Day Earth Day, I wondered? The next time I saw them was a day of great change. Normally, a tree's life is very long and very slow. We spend hundreds of years growing, absorbing the sunlight, and using its energy to gently flex our branches out and unfurl our leaves each year towards the sky. Yet a tree's life can end so suddenly. When the child came to investigate what had happened, the rest of us were still in shock. The old poplar was no longer standing tall, we could all still feel its roots, at least the ones that were still connected to us through the ground, and the stems and leaves still so full of life, though they would not be for long. The child soon discovered what we of the forest could already feel. The cycle of life was far from over. Though this cycle is not always allowed to continue. Time is an interesting thing for a forest. It's not the same for us as it is for you. We trees can live for hundreds of years only to be felled by a single storm. But even then, the forest lives on. Our leaves share the sunlight. Our roots are connected. Humans have been on the earth for such a short time, yet you have created so much change. But who says that change has to be bad? So come, sit a while. Maybe you will start to understand what it means to be a forest.